Today I'm going to show you how to install a helicoil. Uh, if you're not familiar with what a helicoil is, uh, it's when you when you damage a threaded hole or strip out the threads, uh, you use one of these to restore the threads. And they're actually better than the original ones because, well, say in an in a aluminum casting, uh, the aluminum's a little bit softer, and when you do the repair, it's going to be replaced with a steel insert. And here's an actual uh, helicoil right here. See, it's just a piece of hardened spring material. So these are permanent repairs and I've never seen one fail yet but uh, here's what's in the rest of the kit here of course you get those and then the installation tool Helicoil is um, very well known too they've been around forever uh, pretty much they're synonymous with threaded hole repair there are other inserts but this is one of the most common uh, so anyway you have the insert and then you have a tap and this is what you'll do is you'll drill out the damaged hole and then use this tap to put new threads in that hole and then this will get screwed into place now to screw this into place here uh, you have this little installation tool and the little metal tab on the top here uh, engages with this tab on the bottom of the coil and um, what you do is just put that on there like that till these two make contact now it can't thread on anymore and what you do is after you tap the hole you just run this down in there like that till either it bottoms out say as in a blind hole or until you get into the correct position say it like in a spark plug hole so after that you see there's a little notch right here you take a punch and you punch out that tab and then you get rid of it especially if it's a spark plug hole you don't want that going into the cylinder but that's that's it, you know in a nutshell how these things work and what's included in the kit now I already have the the uh, part that's being repaired on the mill it's indicated in it's a Norton commando head that has a 3816 bolt that's stripped out so this is the second one that's stripped out so we're gonna go to that next and show you the process they call for a 2564 drill and I already have the drill in place and I've started to drill this hole out. So I'm going to continue this and show you how to install this. Once the hole is drilled out to 2564, the next step is to tap the hole. I'm going to start the tap by putting it in the drill chuck for right now. Of course, use a little bit of tapping fluid here. And once I get that hole uh, tapped to a certain length, uh, a few threads, and, and ensure that that. Uh, tap is running straight down, you know, um, perpendicular to the surface here. Once I know that that's running straight, I will release it from the chuck and use a, uh, a tapping handle. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use a tapping handle now. So it's a good idea, once you once the tap bottoms out, to take it out and clean the uh, a chips out of the hole. So you might be able to get another thread out of that, or half a thread anyway. See, they pack, they tend to pack on the bottom of the uh, tap. After that, I'll put it back in. Make sure there's no holes left, to, or um, threads left to cut at the bottom. 
little bit, not much. Sometimes it's bad. Uh, you get a lot of chips at the bottom. Okay, that's good. Make sure it's clean. Another thing I do too is I always chamfer the top to make it look a little bit more professional. And just clean it until the major diameter of the thread uh, meets the surface, the top surface. Right about there, good. No one's ever going to see it, but it's just something I do. It only takes, it takes less than a minute to do that, so... Okay, now the threads are cleaned out. Now we have to put a threaded insert in. Put it in there good and tight and back that out. Make sure that top that top piece of that uh, steel thread isn't sticking out above the surface. This is a gasket surface, so it has to be below that. If it is a little bit, just you know file it off. Now when you're finished installing this, there'll still be that little metal tang at the bottom you need to remove. So to do that, I'm just going to grab a piece of keystock here and uh, bend it over because there's a notch at the bottom, like built-in weak point, so you can break it off. Doesn't take much to bend it over, and um, it's still not broke off. It's still down there, so you kind of have to. I'm taking a pointed, um, just a piece of pin that's been sharpened on the end, and break it off inside there. like that. Okay, now the tang's sitting at the bottom of the head. I can't remove it yet. What I'll just do is I'll, I will unclamp this and then just flip it over and that tang will fall off or fall out. Okay, so here is the uh, Norton Commando head in its finished form. This is after vapor blasting. Uh, I got done with this and realized that there was one thing that I needed to tell you that I forgot uh, whenever I was installing the helicoil. And that is, uh, you can see here, where I installed the helicoil. Let's see which one it was. I lost track because there's two of these that were repaired. Uh, the most recent one, it would be this one right here. Um, you have to be careful with helicoils when you put them in. Uh, I blew this one out really well with an air hose. And, of course, you're going to be using tapping fluid, which is kind of sticky or oily. So there's a chance that you'll end up with chips that get down in there. Now it's extremely important, especially with helicoils coils being there. Um, they're not like a solid insert, they're more like a spring material. And if you get a chip down inside that thread before you thread this down in here, that chip will hold that helicoil away from the inside of the um, tapped hole you just did and make the hole too tight for bolts when you put them down through. So be very careful to clean these out before you install them. Uh, if it would happen that you do, if, if it would happen that you do not get it completely clean and the threads tight, uh, you can put a bolt in there and try to, you know, crush that chip a little bit against the sides. Uh, but if that doesn't work, you could also run a tap down through here. Like this is a, this is for a three three eight sixteen. Um, you know, a repair for 3816 bolts to go in through there. It's also possible you could take a tap and run it down through there and then trim those tight parts out. And then, you know, your bolt should fit fine. But I just wanted to show you that. And for those of you who aren't familiar with vapor blasting, this is what vapor blasting does. It comes out with a finish like this, a satin finish. Uh, British castings tend to come out brighter than the Japanese castings but it depends on the company so I don't it depends on the alloy somewhat but this one come out nice the Norton's always do okay so that's the end of 
the tutorial on installing a um, helicoil insert. Uh, as you see, it's pretty simple. Uh, you can run into trouble with them if you don't clean out your threads. But as long as you remember what I showed you, you should be just fine. Okay, if you guys would give me a thumbs up, I appreciate it. Also, subscribe to my channel if you like the content. And until next video, I will see you later.